This is a 20-year-old uh, uh, young woman who has presented with a profound uh, proptosis and swelling above her eye uh, because she has an arterial venous malformation there, which has gradually been getting bigger and, and is starting to uh, cause uh, symptomatology uh, in addition to the, its cosmetic appearance. Today what she's having done is she's having onyx embolization of this arterial venous malformation and whilst it's hoped that the very large portion of this will be able to be embolized today, uh, there very often uh, can be small remnants of the AV malformation still there at the end of the procedure. Uh, her induction was with intravenous remifentanil at uh, 0.5 going down to 0.25 micrograms per kilogram per minute along with one and a half milligrams per kilogram of propofol and then with volatile maintenance uh, at around uh, 0.8 mac of uh, sevoflurane. These are drugs which give me the option at the very end of a rapid emergence. We go back to wishing to uh, examine this young girl neurologically, particularly her vision at a very early stage at the end of the procedure. For this particular case, I chose an LMA Supreme uh, not least because the patient's uh, case may be of uh, indeterminate duration. Uh, I may end up ventilating for several hours at a time and I want to be able to do this with a device uh, that with second seal gives me reassurance in terms of ongoing accumulation of gastric contents or risk thereof and gives me the security to be able to perform positive pressure ventilation for these lengths of time. One of the things about having a, an AV malformation is that because of the arterial inflow into the venous side of the structure, there is an ongoing risk of hemorrhage, uh, which can be quite catastrophic depending anatomically uh, on where this is. Other aspects of the procedure itself uh, that pose problems are that uh, the interventional neuroradiologists have to acquire access through the internal carotid artery all the way out through and past the uh, exit from the ophthalmic artery to the blood supply to the retina. So this is a procedure that runs the risk or hazard uh, of uh, complete blindness in the eye on this side. So again, everything that I can do to minimize the likelihood of cough or straining, uh, particularly during the procedure itself, is of benefit to the potential benefit to the patient. The interventional neuroradiologists are working in sub-millimetre resolution. Uh, they need to be able to have the road mapping image in exactly the same place for significant lengths of time. And as a consequence, everything that I can do to ensure that there's no coughing or patient movement during the procedure is all to the patient's benefit. The LMA Supreme confers particular benefits for this, again, over and above endotracheal intubation. With a device like the LMA Supreme, I can have the confidence that after this procedure, which took in the region of four and a half hours to perform, uh, I can happily, with safety and security, perform positive pressure ventilation through an LMA Supreme for the duration of a case like this. The overall prognosis for this patient is very good. Uh, the fact that uh, this procedure will have reduced by 90 to 95 percent the size of this arterial venous malformation uh, will make it a much uh, safer procedure to perform for the combined ophthalmic and plastic surgical team. So her risk of uh, significant hemorrhage will very dramatically have been reduced by this procedure. After this procedure this young lady should be discharged uh, within 24 to, to 36 hours of completion of the procedure itself.